Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, this is my first video in about, I'm going to say two weeks. And um, I just thought that I watched this video a couple times because first time I didn't get all the way through it, second time I got a little bit over halfway through it. But this just like, it's really offensive and I'll put a link somewhere on here, don't know where. But it's called... This is not true with me, but it's called I Hate Religion in Jesus Too. I'm like, uh, no. It's by this guy named The Amazing Atheist, and uh, I'm gonna put a link so you can find this guy and like write him a write him a write him a letter, or like I don't care what you do, but uh, but this is just really offensive to Christians. Pretty much everybody except for Muslims, Buddhists, and maybe Jew. Uh, not sure what they stand for, but okay. Um, uh, so this vi this guy this guy made a video like a response video or like a like a reply video or some to this like I'm guessing biblical video that some guy made. And the one that he made one off of that was like that um, was I hate I hate religion but love Jesus. That's the uh, that's what the actual that's what the video was called. But for me, this is what it is. It's I love religion and Jesus too. So I want you to check out this video. See what you think, uh, and he's just like a real, like, this is something that another YouTube, another fellow YouTuber said, uh, this guy was, was his YouTube name, his YouTube account is Boogie2988, I'll put a link here too, uh, and, well, Bogey said that that the amazing atheist, which is the guy that made this video that really offended me, that's what his like YouTube name is. He said that the amazing atheist, his channel is built off of hatred, hatred and anger. And I watched like I watched like, two or three of his videos. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I agree with you, Bogey. Um, so. Uh, the the both both these guys are wrong. Like this bookie, you're one of my favorites, but you and the amazing atheist are both wrong. Uh, or not about his his channel is built off of anger, hatred, and anger. Um, and for all you people out there that believe that there is no God. Just think about it. Where did anything come from? From nothing? That doesn't make any sense to me. Religious people are the, like, true, the true, like, intelligent, smart people. Because they're the ones that know that there's an almighty being above the sky, above everything, that thought of something up. This is the order it went. Firmament, which is heaven. Waters, earth, night, day and night, then the things that inhabit the earth. And the people that think that there is no God, where did anything come from? Did gas just like pop up and then on? I don't even know what it would what it look like before God thought of it. God thought of it. I know that there is a God. Because if you think about it, there is, there's proof in the fact that stuff just uh, just didn't like spring up out of nowhere. It had to be thought of, and people went around until God had made night, day, firmament, waters, and land. But people, if people were before all that, what would they be in? They wouldn't be in the firmament. 
because that's for dead or for angels. And if you think about it, you, if you think about it, where did anything come from? It came from a thought. It came from an almighty lord thought. An all-knowing being thought. It didn't come from from like a little blue, green, and other colored gases coming up out of nowhere. Where the gases come from? I know where. It came from God's imagination. And we we need to we need to like really learn what the differences between science and by in the Bible. I personally go with the Bible on everything really. If the Bible doesn't say it, I don't do it. If the Bible doesn't say eat meat, I won't eat it. I'd be a vegetarian. But since the Bible says that you can kill animals for food, then yeah. So, so if you think about it, think about this. I don't care if you're Christian, Catholic, Jew, Buddhist, <coughs> Muslim. Think about the Bible. Don't think about the Quran. Think about the Bible. The Bible tells you that God had put everything there. Where, if there is no God, which I know that there is, put, enunciate is, where did anything come from without the Lord? Think about that. People think that that planets, stars, the sky, the plants, planets, they think that they all just sprung up from something that wasn't there before. Scientists think that that gas is combined and combusted until they turn it into a giant planet. But you know what? Where'd the gases come from? They weren't just there. They had to come from something. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not sure, because I didn't get that far in the Bible, but I'm not sure where all the other planets came from. Probably whenever Earth was made, he made other planets. So think about the... Think about the bun biblically. Think about that and compare it to science, which makes more sense. Some stuff springing up from nothing, or from a thought that an almighty lord had came up of. I guess kind of be coming out of nowhere, but nobody, but it didn't come out of nowhere, because well, it was all in God's mind before anything. From it was the first thing he ever thought of. So think about that.